time. And hey, coming up, we're gonna be talking about infertility. You know, a lot of couples struggle with trying to have a baby. So we have uh, a doctor in our studio this morning. We're gonna talk to him about some of the things you can do. Good morning, doc. <laughs> up if you or your significant other have ever struggled with infertility you are not alone this morning we are talking about this quite common issue among some couples this morning we have dr. Mickey Koffler who is here with us this morning you are morning. with a uh, Tri-City Medical you're also with HRC fertility good Correct. morning doctor good morning Elizabeth and thank you for having me on this segment no thank you for dropping by a uh, very important issue I think a lot of folks struggle with um, want to talk first about some of the more common reasons for infertility so uh, infertility is obviously a problem of both the male and female okay and um, usually you know when we evaluate a couple for um, that has problems uh, mm -hmm. conce uh, conceiving you know we look at uh, three aspects and the aspects are those components that are required to have a baby sure which are the egg the mm -hmm. sperm and they need to get together sure and if you simplify it in this manner uh, it's kind of easy to understand uh, what uh, where the problems are so we start with uh, typically with evaluating the male um, and uh, which uh, his uh, uh, contribution to this process is mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. of course the sperm uh, we start with a semen analysis and then if uh, that proves to be um, within the limits of normal range mm -hmm. then we uh, evaluate the female uh, partner okay. so that's interesting so you kind of start with testing the male then move on to the female um, you know I I'd like to ask this too, age. Does, does in fact age play a role? So in, um, in a female, obviously the uh, age is the most uh, common risk factor for infertility. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, uh, fertility starts to decreasing in the early 30s. I see. Okay. Um, and then after the age of 35, fertility decreases at a faster pace. Um, fortunately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now uh, at uh, HRC as well as tri and uh, we um, can offer women um, to preserve their fertility. We can offer their, their option to preserve their fertility by freezing their eggs. I've heard of that. And, uh, yeah, I've heard of that. that uh, uh, it's, you know, some celebrities do it. But I, I think that's interesting. You touched on something that has, I think, become a little bit more common these days because of the technology, the medical advances, we're able to do that. That's interesting. Correct. You know, doctor, I want to know, is there anything that one can do to, to try to increase their chances? Um, before going to see someone like you? Correct. So I would uh, basically advise couples that are trying to uh, start their family to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And mm -hmm. um, it's basically as simple as um, exercise, sure. using a, uh, just consuming a healthy diet. Women should start prenatal vitamins, uh, avoid smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and exposure to um, um, environmental hazards um, and that's pretty much uh, what I can do they can also um, um, obviously uh, monitor their ovulation I mean there are there are other yeah, methods there's some that kits that you can into. buy over the counter Correct. like the ovulation kit and all of that yeah. and then um, at what point would you say if you've tried all of that at that point should you know the couple seek medical medical advice so the recommendations are that in uh, couples that the women, the female partner is uh, 34 or younger, um, they, uh, the, they should seek advice if after one year of unprotected intercourse, mm -hmm. they are unable to conceive. That's if you're uh, under 34 years 34 old. 34 or younger, correct. Okay. 35 or older, they should seek uh, help much earlier because the window of opportunity is narrowing. And uh, if you wait too long, then it's also more difficult to help you. So uh, really women should, uh, in, in those situations, women should seek help really much sooner. Sure. After the age of 40, it's mm -hmm. uh, actually almost immediately. I mean, if, uh, if there is an inability to conceive, sure. um, in that age group, uh, they should That's seek assistance really much earlier. That's where it's really going to get critical. Correct. Doctor, thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Uh, thank such you. an important talk topic for so many couples out there right now. Well, for a recap, for by me. the way, of all of this and to get more information about Dr. Koffler, please go to our website, KUSI.com. Stay right there. We'll be right back with much more right here on Good Morning San Diego.